Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little funny right now. I am not wearing mascara, which is like the one thing that I always need to have on my face to feel complete. So I'm feeling a little bit incomplete right now, but I'm going to be testing out and demoing some mascaras for you guys. Some of you may know I'm kind of trying to build a playlist all about like my favorite products at the drugstore. So it makes it super easy for you guys to walk in Walmart or your drugstore and look at my playlist and just see my top picks per category. So I'm kind of building that right now. Today is obviously going Going to be all about mascaras. I have tried so many different types of mascara, it's not even funny. I've tried so many from the drugstore and high end. But as I was going through my things, there's so many good ones at the drugstore, by the way. I feel like drugstore mascaras top high end mascaras any day. The formulas are incredible, the longevity, everything about them, I absolutely love. I've tried a bajillion of them. But as I was going through my stuff, I really wanted to pick like the mascaras that I stand behind daily that I just absolutely love. I'm gonna be going through kind of what I look for in a mascara as well as some details about my lashes and things like that. I'm also going to be showing you how I typically apply mascara because a lot of times in my tutorials I kind of speed through the actual application process so that the video is as short and sweet as possible. So I'm going to really explain to you how I apply my mascara as well and then tell you my top three picks as well as a bonus product that's not quite a mascara but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Some background on my lashes my friends. Some of you ask what I do to make them so long. My lashes are now naturally very long and also to be honest I don't use any lash growing serum or anything like that. I will say I have incorporated the Drunk Elephant Shaba Eye Cream recently. Well not recently. I've used it for several months now and that eye serum does have copper peptides in it which helps the eyelashes grow a little bit. That's the only thing that I've used on my lashes. I feel like I have seen a difference in both my eyebrow hairs and my lashes from using that serum but I don't purposefully apply a serum to my lashes or anything like that. They are naturally very full. So with that being said, a lot of mascaras do look pretty good on me. I also am going to mention that I don't ever use an eyelash curler because my lashes are so long and already curled that if I do, they literally like go backwards and they are just too curled and they look so funny. So keep that in mind as we go through this. I may have a completely different lash type than you. That's a thing, I guess. So keep that in mind and apply the steps that you need to. If you always need a lash curler, do that. Or maybe you'll be looking for a different mascara than what I prefer. So let's get right into it. The first product is the one that is not a mascara, but I did want to give it a mention. A lot of you guys have heard me talk about this before, and I used to think that this was going to be such a waste of money, but after I bought it and tried it, I absolutely love it. I love the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Base. So this is a lash primer. I know that seems so extra and so bougie and like just an extra step sometimes, but hear me out. I really feel like this helps condition my lashes. It helps the mascaras glide on top better, and at the end of the day, I truly feel like it helps the mascara remove easier, which for me is really important. I hate when I'm removing my mascara and I see like tons of lashes fall out. I just, I want to keep my lashes as full as possible, you know? So I really do feel like it helps with that. And I've just really noticed a difference in how my mascara looks. It just kind of enhances everything. So I wanted to share this. If I do have the time, I love using a primer. So before I show you how I apply my mascara, I guess I want to share with you my first pick. This is more recent to my collection. I haven't been using this as long as the other two I'm going to share with you, but I've been absolutely loving and always reaching for the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I don't know what it is about this, but I just absolutely love it. I typically gravitate toward volumizing mascaras. I just love massive lashes, so I usually go for mascara that's gonna make my lashes just look like kapow, okay? But the reason why I love this one so much is I feel like it's really customizable. Is that a word? Customizable, right? That's a word, okay. Here is what the wand looks like. It's a silicone wand. I will say that I don't always love silicone wands because sometimes I find when I'm doing mascara really close to the lash line, it can sometimes like, it can poke my inner rim right there and sometimes I don't like that. Another thing that you will have to be careful of is sometimes the tip of this wand, which is, oh, just like that, which is flat, it houses a lot of product. And I find if I'm not careful with this wand that I can a lot of times like, I'm putting it on, putting it on, and I will just jab myself in like the inner eye right there. And it just is a glob of mascara and it's really hard to remove. Like it's not like a little bit where you can let it dry and brush it off. It's worse than that, so just be aware. But I think I love this so much because you can really build it up. One coat will make your lashes just look nice and natural, but I always do like two to three coats with this mascara and it just makes my lashes look kapow, like massive. But I really like how it's not too clumpy. It's really easy to work with. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first. So I think 
think I'm going to show you guys how I apply mascara first with this one and then I'll talk about the other two and show you what they look like. I'm going to swatch them later. So let's start with the primer. I always start from the root and I'll kind of like blink first onto the wand and then I'll use zigzag motions from root to tip to really make sure that I'm coating the lashes. This primer makes your lashes look a little funny at first because it's white so it's totally just like a little bit weird at first because you're used to having dark lashes usually. So I will apply this on the bottom lashes later but I'm just going to first show you the top lashes so I look like my eyelashes are frostbitten right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the covergirl mascara and I'm basically gonna start by doing the same thing I always start by like blinking a couple times just to kind of get that initial layer on and then I will go ahead and again move in zigzag motions and then sometimes I will brush a little bit of product on the outer portion of the corner of the lashes just to make sure that there's product there I really feel like that lifts the eye this is where I got to be careful the inner corner and I just kind of go root to tip I alternate alternate zigzags with like blinking basically onto the wand and that's the first coat. I don't ever try to like overwhelm my lashes with the first coat just so that I can really layer it up and it's not going to clump. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this eye, blinking first for that initial coat and then I go ahead and kind of zigzag and this helps build volume around each individual lash and again kind of helps prevent from major clumping. I honestly don't mind a little bit of clumping with my lashes, especially since I'm always after a super voluminous lash look, but using zigzag motions really helps prevent like the unilash. Do you know what I mean? So there's the first coat on both lashes. I did go ahead and dip back into the product for the second layer and I basically just do the same exact thing. Sometimes I will focus even more toward the tips of the lashes on the second coat and if I ever feel like there's too much product somewhere I'll just take my fingers and just pinch off the ends sometimes weird clumps form at like the tips of my lashes but to be honest I feel like the secret to really nice mascara application is just taking your time sometimes like one of the reasons why I tend to skip through my mascara application in videos is because it really truly does take me quite a bit of time I am a little bit of a perfectionist another thing I will say is I like to add extra to the outer corner sometimes again for for a little bit more of a lifted lash look. So now I'm just gonna kinda take what's left on the wand and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lower lashes. I usually just kind of gently start to apply it in zigzag motion starting at the root. I don't worry about coating my lower lashes as much as I do my top lashes because my lower lashes are actually extremely long as well. If I go as intense as I do on the top lashes, it looks really weird to me. So I just basically do like one light coat a lot of the times on the bottom lash. I just kinda gently touch over them in a zigzag motion and then I drag down so I like zigzag and drag down so now a lot of times for the bottom lashes if there are clumps on the ends I will really gently just take my finger and remove those so there you have it that was two coats of the covergirl lash blast volume mascara I do sometimes use three coats if I have like a really nice smoky eye and I want tons of definition because I'm only wearing bronzer on the eyes I just did two I felt like that was enough for this kind of look um, another thing that I sometimes do when the mascara is dry this is not all the way dry but I'll just show you anyway I will kind of take my finger and press the roots of the lashes up a little bit to kind of give a little bit of curl so that's my method of kind of curling my lashes because it doesn't do too much so there you have it I don't know if that was helpful for any of you guys but hopefully it was so let's just move into my last two mascaras and I will kind of do a little swatches I'm gonna be applying these mascaras as well so you can see how they look on my lashes again I do look for similar things in my mascaras I love volume I love of length. I love bold lashes. So the next mascara I'm going to talk about has been a favorite of mine for so long and I really feel like not that many people talk about it. This is the mascara that I wore on my wedding day. I wore the waterproof version but I love it because it literally separates your lashes so beautifully. Lasts all day. It's amazing. This is also from L'Oreal. I don't know. L'Oreal? L'Oreal mascaras are just really good in my book. They work really well for me. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and I get this shade carbon black. So let me show you the applicator on this. First of all, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a really flexible wand, which is really great. I feel like it really helps to get each individual lash. Here is what the wand looks like. I usually look for wands that are nice and bulky like this. I 
and you can typically find that in volumizing mascaras but there are so many tiny tiny little bristles on this brush which is one of the reasons why I feel like it does such a great job of really coating every single lash and lengthening them as well like it makes my lashes look like I'm wearing individual lashes just the soft kind of fanned out and defined look I don't know I love it so much I think it's so great and again this is a mascara that I love so much I did wear it on my wedding day but I did get the waterproof version because you know I'm a crybaby I I get very emotional, happy tears of course on my wedding day, but such a great mascara. So the last one I'm sure you guys could probably guess, I know I use this a ton, but honestly I choose this mascara over so many of my high-end mascaras, it's not even funny. I love this, this is also from L'Oreal, it is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Now this one is in the shade Mystic Black, I usually use the shade Black is Black, and I can't find my new bottle, this is the old one, so I'm just going to show you the bristles of the Mystic Black shade, which is kind of like a grey black. Again, this one has a really really big fluffy wand, which is great for volume I love this one because it just makes my lashes look so false This mascara is definitely a little bit more dramatic I feel I feel like the covergirl one I can really build up it looks a little more natural the voluminous million lashes one I can make look more natural as well But this one I use this when I want my lashes to just really stand out. This is definitely a go-to It's so good. I really feel like it also stays well on my lashes Sometimes these volumizing mascaras tend to kind of flake and crumble underneath my eyes. I really don't have that issue with this. Maybe like toward the end, end, end of the day, it can sometimes do that, but not compared to even some of my high-end mascaras. My high-end mascaras are sometimes worse at that. It's definitely a must-have mascara for me. Well, all three of these are. And I think that's everything, you guys. I know this was a different kind of video talking just about mascaras, but hopefully you guys found this helpful. These three mascaras, you guys, are absolutely incredible. I would choose these three over any high-end mascara that I've tried so far. I think they're amazing. The price points are incredible. Cannot live without any of these. As always, you guys, let me know in the comments below what your ride or die mascaras are. It can be high-end. It can be drugstore. I know there's so many amazing mascaras out there. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your ride or die is. And also let me know what works for you if you have different lashes than me. If your lashes are a little bit shorter or maybe they're a little bit more straight, what kind of mascaras work for you? Because we're all different. So I would love it if you guys would help each other out in the comments below so we can all have incredible lashes that work great for each individual. So leave a comment down below. If you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and enter my giveaway. I will leave a link in the description box down below. Also, if you haven't joined the family yet, please do by hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you on board. And if you're already a subscriber and you wanna be notified each time I post, since I do post three videos a week, go ahead and click on the bell after you subscribe and that'll just mean you'll get notified when I post you will be one of the first First people to watch my videos. That's everything you guys. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!